punters, how are you? How is your day? We've just finished the US Open yesterday and me and Phil have got a bonus day. We've been lucky enough to be invited to Fox headquarters. Wait, Phil. Nailed it. They're gonna give us a tour, show us some stuff. Whoa, entrance is amazing. Look at this. All right, let's get in. Sure. Boom. What's going on? Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you guys? We've come for a tour. Come for a tour? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. this Wait, is... Dave, who, who are you? I am Dave Amata. I work in marketing for mountain bike. I'm the global brand copywriter, but I also help the mountain bike team. That's a pretty solid title. A lot going on over here. <laughs> What's going on? So we've been in this building for, I'll say, five-ish years now. Yeah, this is uh, the company store. This is open to the public. So if anybody lives or is visiting the area, they can actually come in here at any time, nine to five, Monday through Friday. Arguably the best representation of Fox products for all three categories, lifestyle, mountain bike, and motocross that you'll ever see. A Little bit of history of how the building was designed. So Pete Fox, who is the son of the founder, Jeff Fox, yeah. um, uh, really helped to work with the architect firm to design the building. He was hand in hand all the way through. Um, it was actually a group named, I think, Clive Wilkinson is the name of the architect, and he's a very famous architect who does a lot of buildings for Google and eBay. Where does this zebra pin come from? If you're familiar with the history of Fox, like Zebra has a very strong kind of resonance for who the brand is, um, and there's a good story about that. So again, going back to the story of Pete Fox, he started working for the company when he was a little kid. Um, and by the time he was 15 and 16, he was actually doing a lot of design work on the, on the motocross side. Most of the graphics and color stories in motocross gear was all just color block, right? Yeah. So you have red, yellow, black, or whatever the color stories were. So he wanted to try something different. He wanted to do a zebra print graphic. And the, the way I was told the story was that uh, he went to his dad, Jeff Fox, the founder of Fox, yeah. um, and said, Dad, I have this idea. I want to do zebra print. And Jeff said to him, it's not going to work. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. But I believe in you. So if you want to try it, you go ahead. So Pete designed it up, met with uh, Rick Johnson, who was um, arguably one of the best mount, uh, uh, motocross riders uh, at that time, convinced him to wear it. They wore it at a Supercross event on a Saturday. It sold out to the piece the next Monday. Whoa. This was you know, obviously pre-internet, uh, pre so this was uh, catalog and phone sales. Yeah. So I guess the phone was ringing off the hook Monday morning after the race, <laughs> and they sold it out by that afternoon. Kind of changed the entire direction that the company, uh, or the graphic direction of the company at that point. That's what the zebra print entry means. Uh, Pete's idea behind this was like, leave your inhibitions at the door when you walk in to come to work every day, think outside the box, try something different, and, and really get out there and do new things. Innovate and elevate. Out the front entrance, I don't know if you guys noticed as you came in, but it's shaped uh, like the mouthpiece of our, of our full face helmets. Oh, did you okay. get that? Yeah. I, I noticed that there was something going on, but I couldn't quite figure out how it connected. I knew yeah. that, like it felt part of the brand, but yeah, it felt familiar. Out. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Take a look at your RPC when you see it next time, and of course, all the um. and any full face helmet from Fox has that. What is that? A hexagonal shape, I guess. Six sided. Check this out, all the meeting rooms, named after legendary Fox athletes. So up there, that's the Ricky Carmichael room, very famous motocross rider. And then up here, that is the Jeremy McGrath room. So it's an open plan office environment here. So if you want to go and have a quiet phone call or a bit of alone time, then you've got to go into one of these meeting rooms. Oh no, okay. no, 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 Good to have you here. Hey. Yeah, this is Scott Betty. Scott yeah, um, had the oh, yeah. yeah. Mark no. product. Okay. It's just without the glasses and the helmet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, dude, I couldn't believe you whipped that out. I was like, oh, that's that was the biggest one I've ever done. I, like, I, yeah. And first time I've done it on that bike. Hi, Jeff. Oh, how are you, man? How's it going? Jeff, Jeff Wayne, our CEO, and this is Phil. Hey. Matt, hey, Phil, Phil, nice to meet you. Uh, all right, mate. These are two of our YouTube ambassadors for mountain bikes. So oh, right on. He's known as Paul the Punter and Skills with Phil. Nice. Uh, Jeff is our new CEO. Um, comes with a very long, rich history in biking, mountain biking. Props, he busted out a big back foot. In the yeah. Competition. That was you? you yeah. Got yeah. Right on. <laughs> That's what we're like. That was a wonderful back foot, but <laughs> give us some whips, everyone. A big event called the Gump Cup. It's actually about to start up in the, for the next couple weeks. Seating tournament, like everybody, we get. I don't know, we'll get dozens of people that'll sign up and play. Who's the current champion? I think it was Mike Bodiarto, one of our developers. What's this one? The lab. This looks like, look at it, hold on. This is a whole random room in the building 
with frosted glass. Yeah. Dave, this is where the secrets are. So it's exactly what it is. I could show you guys in there, but of course I'd have to kill you. This is advanced concepts. So this is where um, the design teams go in to innovate, um, look at new ideas, um, come out with new ways of um, overcoming problems that the consumers have. And it's for all categories, whether it's um, hard goods, soft goods. I mean, we even talk about marketing in that section. So yeah, a lot of really interesting stuff comes out of that. So this is um, so a lot of the early design and concepting that's gonna happen uh, for future seasons up there. They're probably working on 2021 product line, so don't zoom in on that too closely. Oh, okay, uh, oh, oh, oh. That, that's the cloud, we call it the design cloud. That's where a lot of those ideas come up for future seasons. Step out here, so you tell me. See if you can, see if you can spell it out. Oh, uh, that looks like it. Oh, they're words on the ground. Yeah. D R E yeah. A. Yeah. Dream. Dream on. Dream on. <laughs> so dream on. Again, talking back to you know Pete Fox, Pete and John and Greg were uh, very in the three Fox brothers were very involved in, in the company for a long time. Um, still are participants. And uh, Pete uh, led one of the really innovative uh, marketing campaigns back in the I think it was early 90s. It was less about the actual uh, rider on the bike and more about the experience of motocross. And again, just that whole theme of thinking differently and pushing boundaries. He actually had the, the architect uh, design into this area, the, the Dream On logo. So you guys are getting the, uh, the first look. Yeah, this is amazing. So yeah, I think this is the first day that we're officially allowed to ride this, you know, so we can come out here on our breaks on at lunch and then um, in the evenings and have a little bit fun. Oh, and of course you've got a backyard moto track. Yeah. The designers and developers will come out here and test initial fittings on gloves, test how boots are working as they're shifting. Not major testing, we do that at Fox Raceway down. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in oh, you got a full, You've obviously got a full moto track as well. We do, do, do yeah. <laughs> yeah, not too far from here, maybe hour and a half, two hours down towards San Diego um, and on the Pala Indian Reservation. So we head down there when we need like full on testing, but this is a good place to get a first idea. Oh, wow. Both motocross and mountain bike of how gloves are fitting, pants are fitting. We actually have, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but we have a full um, sewing room in the back where they show up, sew up samples. This is our victory flag. I mean, the, the US flag goes up and down every day, of course, but the victory flag, those are little stickers that you'll see show up on riders um, gear sets and on riders helmets after they've had a victory. And every time that one of our riders wins an event somewhere around the world, we raise the victory flag. So of course that is up there. Yeah, in, in honor of Loik's victory uh, up at the Fox US Open of mountain bike in uh, Big Bear at Snow Summit. It's been flying for a long time. I want to say we've had, whether it's mountain bike or motocross, we've had the victory flag flying almost every week this year. The way this is set up is this half of the building that we're on, um, kind of this side of those really interesting light, um, I don't know what you call those, light fixtures, designs, whatever, um, is all performance product. So this is where motocross and mountain bike is designed and developed. Um, this team works directly with the factories in Asia and all around the world that we use, also a lot of local um, design resources that um, are involved. The other side is lifestyle. Okay. So we call it off bike apparel. Hey Phil, look, they've got one of those too. 100,000. When did you get that, Ryan? Uh, right after I ride your fucking bike. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, that, that put us over the edge. Wait, Ryan, quickly introduce who you are. I'm Ryan Marcus. I'm the video director for Fox. What, what else do you want to know? Uh, I'll put up the skate video. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that you did. Yes. Skate, skateboarding, skateboarding 411 videos yeah 411 if PBS anyone fanatics. if anyone knows what 411 is comment below i'll be amazed and this guy too so we work together oh yeah ricky Biedenbach. <laughs> done <laughs> equipment tour ryan my, equipment uh, tour show me the stuff my desk isn't um sorry it doesn't look very nice we talk actually always gummies, lot, gummies i know snacks i know a lot of videographers <laughs> pretzels yeah Snack always, of choice. always so we have a gemini Red Gemini. And a dragon. How many how many thousands of dollars are you stood in front of right now? What is that? 70 76? 76,000 dollars. Bag of GoPros from this weekend. Or oh yeah. Weekend that we, well, we brought up like six. Yeah. Lenses? Storage. Oh yeah, lenses. We just have two. We keep the lenses pretty small. Okay. Fish eye right there. I have a 70 to 2 and a um, 24 to 70. And then we rent we rent a bunch of them. Ah, uh, yeah. Like rent a bunch of primes because those are just those are too expensive to just have. Star Wars set. Star Wars, yeah, a piece from the Star Wars set from the helmet 
collab that we did a couple years back. Nice. One of my favorite projects. We got a Moby, so this is the asshole case. Because <laughs> you just feel like an asshole every time you bring it to the airport and travel with it. This Unboxing. Is, this is oh, very yeah, this is you, yeah, this is how you get your music. Right? So this is her. Woo! Wow, it's massive. Yeah, that's the gimbal. How, how much is that? So in that box, which I'm not gonna unbox because it's it's our old gimbal yeah. that we just can't get rid of. Like nobody wants it anymore. Oh, you know, really? like the old like DJI ones. Yeah, yeah. They're terrible. Do you have like a crazy storage system, or is it just hard drive? Like our storage internally, like on the servers, they can't handle like the transfer speed that we need in order to work in house. Yeah. And we travel so much, so we just use these hard drives. When I started almost eight years ago is when I started like a new system. So every project sort of gets like a new hard drive. We, do, we double up and triple up sometimes on like smaller projects, but they're like each one of these drives are like two to four terabytes. I mean, we ha there's like hundreds of terabytes. Oh, this one over here, this is what we had to build ride your fucking bike on. You had to this build is, a raid just for the movie. Yeah, just, just so that there's redundancies like on the trip. Yeah. We just didn't want anything to crash, you know? Yeah. So that was a 32 terabyte drive that we kept with us. Wait, you, you took this on the road? Yeah. Oh my yeah, God, yeah. that's so much. Because we had six cam like six cameras going at the same, like between all of us and then a drone. And it was just, there was like so much content that we were that's getting every nuts. single day. These are, Really old, old computers. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. I don't like know. The I think they're Quicksilvers. Pick that from a museum, maybe? Or? My house. <laughs> it's actually like old four on one stuff on there that oh, I've slowly been trying to like put back onto the internet. That was uh, May. Okay. And now we can film this now. So just everything. I can film, John, I can film all this side. Yes. Great angle. Wait, what's on this? Oh, this is what we can film. <laughs> Can be a YouTube star. What are you gonna do to me? Tyler, introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Hello, Tyler Easley. I'm the global social and digital brand manager here at Fox Racing. How many uh, Instagram followers are you in charge of? Well, across all categories, about four million. Whoa. How does that power feel? It's pretty awesome, <laughs> not gonna lie. This is one what, Dave? This is the uh, one of the original typewriters that started uh, Fox Racing back in the mid 70s. I think they bought this after one of the first couple of seasons of mail order. In her office memos, they used it for copy for uh, all the cat original catalogs. So this is a very legendary piece of memorabilia here at Fox. Is that how they used to uh, send emails? Probably, probably. <laughs> so they would type it and then they'd hire somebody to carry it and then take it to the place and then that person would type on it back and, that's, they, and that's would e. carry it back. <laughs> that's E that would do that, yes. right? Yes. E. Yeah, okay. Fits on all their gear. Who's the fussiest? Oh, I, I can't say that. Come on, on come on. Can't say on camera. JT Fox here. What's up, boys? What's going on? Yo. You oh, wow. You're doing some serious skills. Yeah, man. This is for uh, for our boy Twitch. Just getting some patches right Oh, Jeremy it. Stenberg. Yeah. How did you break, uh, break your arm? Uh, I was dirt biking a couple weeks ago. I was up at Washougal, ran out of talent. No worries. I got two thumbs, so all good. We've got the plotter back there, so anytime. Any of the moto or mountain bike athletes need, you know, custom graphics for their jerseys. Yeah. Um, they lay it up out here. These are the heat transfer machines. They press it on there. So these guys work nonstop. From before the season starts, they're still going right now. I mean, maybe there's like a three week period of downtime in November yeah. that they're not actively working on custom gear sets for these guys. So this is really something that we pride ourselves on. Yeah, this is um, nice. yeah really just kind of, kind of sets the mark for brands, we believe. And it's something that we'll continue to do and continue to push on tell me when there's something secret it's pretty secret it's oh. guys if only you saw what I was looking at right now it's pretty cool stuff can't show no cameras <laughs> wait let's just blur all that out Phil you can't say what you're looking at but it's pretty cool isn't it Well, there we have it, punters. Fox headquarters. Phil, did you have a good time? Absolutely. Sick. Well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, maybe you watch my videos and you think you're subscribed, but maybe you actually aren't. So click that button. And if you enjoyed it, of course, hit like. Perhaps even watch it twice. Like and that smash button. Exactly. And Phil's channel, of course, will put you over your face. There you go. Click right here. That's enough time. Okay, cheers, punters. See you next time.